Hello, in this video I am going to show what to set up in hosting to support subdomains for customers. So once a user registers with a pricing, pricing plan which supports subdomain, he will get a subdomain say uh, user name.profiler.xyz. Profiler.xyz is my business domain so he will get username.profiler.xyz. To make this subdomain automatic automatic means when a user registers he will get the subdomain immediately he will not have to wait for the subdomain to be connected to our server <coughs> to do that we have to create a wildcard subdomain <coughs> to create a wildcard subdomain we have to go to subdomains in the cpanel and put star here and select the domain name from here profiler.xyz is my domain and put the uh, location of the project files so i have kept my project files installed the project in public html slash profiler.xyz so the path is home slash megasoft one slash public html uh, slash profiler.xyz so let me give it here quickly So we have set up the uh, wildcard subdomain. So it will take some time to propagate the DNS. So it will create the DNS records for these subdomains to work it properly. And it will it is said that it takes 72 hours, but it basically happens in uh, one hour or something like that. Uh, let me show an uh, example. From the user end so let's go to a dashboard the username is Romario of this user so the subdomain you will be able to see it from here the user subdomain is this so if I visit now in another browser the subdomain so first let me clear the cache don't forget to clear the cache while you are testing let me just visit romario dot <coughs> z so we can see there is nothing so after we create the subdomain it will take some time to propagate the DNS so we can see our DNS propagation is done <coughs> and after clearing the cache from here and reloading this page this page has been loaded in romario.profiler.xyz so you can check in what's my dns.net here that where the DNS propagation is completed so these places are not completed yet so we have <coughs> successfully registered a dom uh, uh, our wildcard uh, subdomain in the hosting so if i register any dom uh, any users with an username let's say immobile so if we go to immobile we have already registered this user with this username if we go to there we will be able to see his profile page also so any user user can now register and see his profile immediately visiting the subdomain one thing one limitation is in wildcard subdomain it is not possible to uh, make it https the hosting auto ssl cannot assign https to the subdomain in wildcard subdomain but you can purchase a wildcard ssl uh, from any provider and connect it to your uh, wildcard subdomain uh, star.profiler.xyz this will uh, assign SSLs to any registered users automatically but there is another solution which can uh, where you don't have to 
purchase wildcard SSL. Uh, we will show that a few moments later. So, to purchase a wildcard subdomain, you can purchase from any provider. Let's say you can uh, from Namecheap you want to purchase. You can see there are some wildcard subdomains. These are the wildcard subdomains, and it can be assigned to start.yourdomain.com which you can contact with your hosting provider that how we will connect the SSL wildcard SSL with your wildcard subdomain so let me show the another procedure where you don't have to purchase wildcard subdomain but in this case it will not assign the SSL automatically to the subdomain for that the you will have to as an admin you will have to go to the admin dashboard so i am in the admin dashboard profiler.xyz slash admin then i have logged in logged in using username and password here you will see the in the subdomains in the all subdomains section all the sub registered users subdomains here we can see all the users who has purchased the package with subdomain support so you can just go to the hosting and connect the subdomain in your hosting so i am already in the subdomain section of hosting so let me connect romario dot profiler dot xyz and the project folders location the, we are doing this for SSL. Uh, the subdomain is general, uh, the user will have the subdomain automatically but we are doing this for SSL only let me give the path so this is the project files location so we will create a subdomain romario.profiler.xyz so after creating this subdomain now the hosting can assign ssl https to this subdomain so it will take some time it generally takes 15 minutes to assign the ssl for now if we go romario.profiler.xyz here it is http if we provide https we cannot access this website for now won't be able to access this website because it will take on and around 15 minutes to assign this https to this subdomain after we connect the subdomain in our hosting so we have uh, paused this video for some moments and <coughs> now refresh the website we can see we can show our uh, show the users portfolio website in the subdomain with https so, so after you connect the subdomain in hosting you can change the status of the subdomain from here here you can change the status to connected and it will be change to connected it will be available in the connected subdomains you can see all the registered users subdomain in the pending subdomains until you connect them <coughs> and change the status to connected you can also send a mail to the user that the HTTP is and the subdomain is connected now you can visit <coughs> the profile in the subdomain with HTTPS you can also set set up a mail for the users uh, after registration they will get a mail that the, they can visit their profile in the subdomain without HTTPS so to do that to set up that mail you have to go to email settings mail templates and you can registration with the premium package registration with trial package registration with free package so these mails will be sent after the registration so you can set the text here that they can visit their website without https and once uh, and tell them to allow two or three business days 
to connect their uh, subdomain to your web to your hosting and only then they will be able to visit the website with https so the message you can set here so that is it that is how you can add uh, you can work, uh, set up in your hosting to connect user subdomain and you can also use the wildcards ssl as i have shown earlier so if you have you are using wildcard ssl and connect it with your wildcard subdomain you don't need to connect the subdomains manually for every user to support https in that case the ssls will be applied to any subdomains of your website of your domain also if you use uh, wildcard ssl you can completely ignore this menu uh, in the admin panel because it is only needed if you don't have wildcard ssl and you are connecting the subdomains manually and then you have to change the status here and send the users a mail so that is it thank you for watching